Alrighty, I'm trying a new antenna today. I have a jack kite pole. And so we're gonna try to make a random wire on this jack kite pole. So you can see it's quite long. So what we're gonna do, and I, I actually left the house unprepared, is um, getting the antenna attached to the tip of this big old fishing rod. So that's where all these things come in handy. So we have our radiator. And what this radiator is, and Oliver, and I'll show you Oliver in a little bit, he's been my adventure buddy. He's gonna help me kind of, <laughs> I don't think that worked. But I wrapped this up so that I should be able to just throw it and it come undone. So I'm gonna take this and launch it. Yep, so that doesn't work. <laughs> but it shouldn't be in too big of a mess. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trust it. This is about uh, 34 foot. So it may be a little bit long for what we're gonna do. But I found this random strap in the truck. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is strap this. On the fishing here. rod? It's kind of like a big fishing rod, yep. Yeah. So we're gonna try this and see if it works. So I'm just gonna wrap it around the tip like this. Get a couple magnificent wraps around. I just hope that it stays. If I don't put any pressure on it, it should. So now I've never used one of these. This is the first time. My friend 80, KO4 NLL, has uh, a jack kite pole that he has used. He suggested to my wife that she get me one for Christmas. So this is about a 30, 31 foot pole and we're almost at the last, it doesn't really look like 30. Oh, we have another section and a bird's nest. So I'm gonna bring that down so I can kind of get this bird's nest out. I built or 3D printed a, um, a winder for this wire. I just uh, haven't peeled it off the 3D printer yet. So I guess I need to do that sometime this week. Okay, we're gonna go put up the last section. Oh, there's one more section, great. More like 32 feet. This is more like 30. Here we go. So my random wire is a tad bit long, so that's a disappointment. So I need to take about six feet off of this. Okay, Ollie, I had to shorten this. Forgot, it was 40 some odd feet. So we're gonna see how this goes. I took about uh, 12 feet off of it. And we're gonna raise the antenna. It's gonna have two wires coming down in first because I just folded the wire at the 12 foot mark. So we're gonna take the rest of this antenna up. My wife has this nice hitch on the back of the truck. You can bring it in closer now, cameraman. What I'm gonna do is lace it around like this and just use this scrap piece of string that I found at the house. And it's scrap and it's crap because look at that. It's just like tissue paper on the inside. It doesn't even melt. So I don't even know where I got this from, but I, was that funny? All right, are you videoing this or you got my knee in the picture? I don't like both. So I'm just gonna tie a nice little uh, bow on there real fancy schmancy uh, fisherman's knot 
and hey look at there i could have gave mom that for when she was asking for a uh, rubber band for her hair all righty so that's step one um yeah just ignore and now the random part. wire is right here in his hands here's the i'll get that Here's the Balan. It's a, I believe, a K6 ARK Balan. And that just plugs in right there. That's the actual feed line. Not the feed line. This is the radiator. And then it was supposed to hook onto that right there. Um, apparently, cut it a little too short, but it'll be all right. Now we have the 17 foot counterpoise wire. This will be a whole lot easier to unravel. We're gonna take that and we're just gonna zing. Yoink. No, it's actually neat. I think it's a... And that plugs into the bottom right here. <laughs> let's get creative with this let's use that clip to hold that into place all right now in my pocket i have my coax connector yeah. so we're going to put that in there normally i'd be in the jeep and the jeep has a higher center um of uh well, it's kind of like center of mass. The tire is on the back, and so I can actually tie this a little bit closer to the top because I'm afraid it's going to fall. I said that, guys. If it does, it is what it is. And then we connect this to the antenna. Now, this requires a tuner, so we'll see how that goes. This is the setup. I've got my iPad and a keyboard and the radio, FT891, and a tuner. And a key, of course, and... You can barely even see the antenna here, but it's there. That jack kite pole's there. My goal was to test this antenna out, and I wanted to see how well it performed on some of the bands. So I did 20 meters, and then I did 17 meters, then I went to 30 meters, 40 meters, and one contact on 60 meters right at the end. And I managed 75 QSOs. This is the map. I chose to keep this video kind of short, so I didn't actually video any of the activation. All right, guys, we're going to tear down our POTA station or set up. Oliver is camera -ing. Me? So you should probably check out my channel, too. It's called Oliver um, Explains. From the tutor. Yep, this is his little... Yeah. Fishing rod that's like 30, 40 feet. Now, yeah. Is it, what'd you say? 40 feet? I said it used to be 40 feet because you said. Oh, 40 feet. yeah, you're right. The wire, the uh, radiator, yeah, was it 40, off. I think 42 or 43 feet. But when I came out here, of course, it was a little long to put on a jack kite pole that's only 31 feet. So I uh, Look at electrically that. shortened it. So the other thing that I do is when I'm rolling my cables up, especially if I know they're not going to be used um, soon, or if they're going to get transported somewhere, I roll them up neatly by doing the over-under. Um, helps if there's not already kinks in it. But I go once over, and then I twist it and go backwards so you can see that one twit well if cameraman was actually watching what he was filming um <laughs> once over yeah, then we go sweet. once under once over once under so you see how i'm, I'm twisting it in opposite oh. directions i need to back up and uh hopefully the connector wasn't there but i sure don't see it right this minute we will take our counterpoise and I've learned this really wasn't that bad. You just wrap it on your hand. Um, like I said earlier in the wonderfully edited video, that uh, if you twist it on your hand like this, 
it limits the amount of twist edge and, and stuff that you get. If you uh, have a device that you could actually do this on, I just have to get it off the 3D printer. I'll probably do that next week when I get some time. Um, I saw somebody who wrapped this up like this to keep it from um, coming unraveled. So I'm gonna try that instead of using that uh, binder clip to hold it. So the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and take off our, um, I believe for NFED uh, random wire, this is really an UNUN. Um, this is K6 ARK, the 100 watt version, though today I only did five watts through it. Five um, watts, yeah. I did use 100 watts one time to tell somebody that the CW frequency that I was on was QRL. Are you videoing or just walking around? Just videoing and walking. All right, so get it from back there now. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to bring. Yeah. The sure. next thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring the jack tight pole down. Hold on. So. I don't know what happens if you just let go, so we're going to find out. If I break it, I guess I'll have to buy it. No, what I'm going to do is I catch it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I hope you got that, buddy. I did. I got all of it. That was so cool. I looked through this and I was going... I wish it would go up that fast. I wish. Now, the only thing that that did, though, was made... A colossal mess. Yes. The random wire with the K6ARK kit worked really well, and I'm, I'm happy with its performance. Can't wait to use it a couple more times and try it out on a couple other bands and see how it tunes up. want to thank Oliver for allowing me to get out of the house. If it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be able to go POTA. So he grabs his toys and he comes along with me. And uh, he did get on the radio a little bit the other day, but he's always there with me. Uh, we've done probably 30 or 40 parks now together, and he's usually there. Uh, looks like he's just an adventure guy, so he's creative and smart. Maybe one day he'll take up the ham radio hobby as well, but he's usually there. So here's him in my uh, antenna hole. He's definitely almost twice as deep as he is tall. And uh, thanks, Oliver. He's Oliver Explains on YouTube somewhere, and he's there. He allows me to go rove and go to parks and play.